Hi, I am going to show you how to install a yard sign. This is Wes Benedict with the Libertarian Booster Pack. Uh, so this is a typical yard sign. It's got a metal stand in it. It's called an H stand or a step stand. And you just simply take it, put it on the ground and step. Shoot. Okay, it all bent up. We we have kind of soft ground but there's rocks under there so it didn't work very well it's all mangled can you see it's all mangled um, so you can kind of bend these back in shape and um, <clears throat> it's not easy okay let me just try again oh shoot it, the whole thing broke off so okay so that didn't work let me try another method What I found works better, this is a used one, but anyway, I'm going to use it to demonstrate, is to put the stand in the ground first and then put the sign on the stand. So um, when I push this down, you can see it's, it's hitting rock like right away, no matter where I do it. So, but if you, if you do find a place where it goes way down in, then you're good but since I have kind of rock no matter where I do this I'll just take a hammer and put my hand don't hold it like this because you'll bang your hand you'll bang your hand if you do that but I put my hand right here and just hammer it in I'm still hitting rock oh shoot okay look I bent it so you can bend it back, but this is a big hammer. It's a uh, 15 ounce, it said on there. Let's see, it's like a 15 ounce hammer, 16 ounce hammer. So rather than use a big hammer, I use a small hammer. This is a seven ounce hammer. Works way better, I found. Okay, let's try again. So. Still going into rocky ground. See, I push it down, it doesn't go in. It goes that far, but that's not far enough. So then I put my hand in the middle. Don't put your hand here, because you'll bang your hand and hurt it. So, and then just these light taps. And often, if you hit it a bunch of times lightly, it'll punch through the rocks that are in the ground, underground. So if you live in Austin, Texas or Dallas or somewhere dry, then it's very, you'll often have to use a hammer to get these in. So, all right, now it's in there very sturdily. So if it gets real windy, uh, it'll hold it up. Sturdily is a word. Okay, um, now you just take this and slide it on top of the stand so I will just do that keep you still filming all right put one side in then put the other side in and push it down uh oh look how it's bent you see how it's bent to bent like that that means I had those poles too far apart and it, it, it crushed the sign, so now it looks terrible. So you don't want to do that. So let me pull this out of the ground. Try it again with the poles closer together. Okay, now they're closer together. But look, it won't go. Now they're too close. See, it won't go down all the way. It's okay, the noise. The dog barking. Okay, time out. Okay, so in this case, the stand poles are too close together. So I can't get the sign all the way down. It looks kind of bent and mangled. 
it might not be level if I do it that way. So I want to show you one other trick that I use before I get started. So come over to this table. You can come film up close here. What I do is take the sign and take a stand and put the stand just about in the center here and just put it up against there like that and then mark it. I'll mark it just to the right and just to the right of both poles just to the side and that way now I know because you you never can tell if these are going to be lined up just like that or like that it, it's hard to install it if it's one way or the other so now that I have it marked I know that I need to bend those and put them in right like that so let's come over here again and I will um, I will start with a new sign I'll do it again watch me hammer this in I've already marked where the I've already marked on the back where the pole should go I'm gonna come in here find it where it goes in easily doesn't go in anywhere easily it's it's hard rock underneath there after about four inches and so I put my hand in the middle hammer lightly 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 and I'm starting to hit rock but it's kind of punching through that rock sometimes you can't punch through the rock and you just have to move it a few inches to the side but often it'll I think it's literally punching through the rock and so now it's way down in there rock solid and I just I've got these marks so I guess I'll put it in showing the other way so you can see these marks so I just put one right on the mark and then I push it down some and then put this other one right by the mark and then it pushes all the way down and seats just perfectly and this is way down in the ground um, it gets super windy uh, it's very calm today so it's 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 very easy for the sign to hold up today but often it's extremely windy and by having the sign way down in there seated here and this all the way down there it stays up so um, you still rolling okay so that's how to install a simple yard sign my name is Wes Benedict I'm with libertarian booster pack uh, it's also helpful to have a hat like this if you're <laughs> installing out in the Sun uh, this libertarian hat is available at libertarianboosterpack.org these Texas Libertarian shirts are also at libertarianboosterpack.org and these Enough is Enough Vote Libertarian yard signs are available at libertarianboosterpack.org. Political advertisement paid for by Libertarian Booster Pack, blah, 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 blah. That's it.